Hey you guys, I am so sorry that I did not get to post on Monday. I was so mad at myself, but it has been a week, okay? Um, my daughter started school Monday, which is just crazy to think that I have a child that is in school now. And not just any school, she's homeschooled. And I have had a adjustment, <laughs> to say the least. Um, you know, having a child that is in school and one that isn't, um, and he, my son, he's two and he's just very rambunctious and trying to keep him occupied, but also making sure my daughter is staying on track with her task. Um, it's been fun. So I have missed my upload. <laughs> um, these jeans tight. Okay. Give me one second. I missed my upload for Monday, but I wanted to hop on and give you guys an upload today on my breastfeeding topic. And today's video, we are gonna talk a little about introducing solids while you're breastfeeding. And then tomorrow, my husband and I are gonna do a fun little Q&A for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out. So you guys, it has come to the point where you are ready to start giving your baby some solid food. Um, and that can be really scary because you've been giving them breast milk their whole life. And so I know that you're probably feeling some kind of anxiety, what to give them, how much to give them, and what age to really start. So I just wanted to go through my experience on how I introduced solids to my children while I was breastfeeding them and hopefully help you guys um, get some tips and tricks along the way. My first tip is to wait until six months. I know it can be so tempting when they're only four months old to just go ahead and let them taste some food and you want to see their face. And that's totally fine, but you just want to be careful because the sooner you introduce foods, especially if you're introducing multiple foods, you can actually mess up your baby's tummy and give them an allergy. Um, they could develop an allergy. You can't give them an allergy, but they can develop an allergy from having solid food introduced too fast. Um, so their, st their stomach can't handle that and they may develop a sensitivity to it. Um, another reason why I like to wait until six months was because I was cloth diapering and um, when you're cloth diapering, you do not have to wash the poop for the first six months as long as you are strictly breastfeeding. And so that was something that I was really happy about. <laughs> and another reason is because when they're six months, usually they're um, better equipped to sit up in a high chair and you don't have to worry as much about choking or gagging um, like you would before they get that really good neck support um, when they turn six months old. We can get through this video, that would be great. It's always a challenge trying to record when the kids are awake. Oh, I do this to myself, but I wanted to get a video in this week, so I am here. The next thing that most parents wonder about is if I introduce solids, will that interfere with the breastfeeding? And absolutely not. You're going to continue feeding your baby on a normal schedule of what you do, um, even when you introduce solids. Now, with introducing solids, they may not want to eat as much. But more than likely, they're still gonna want their breast milk the same way they have been. It's just that the solids is gonna help them, obviously, um, with nutrition and help them grow. But really, you're not supplementing solids for a, a feed this early. Um, you just kinda wanna see your baby's cues and, and uh, watch them and see what they do. But for the most part, they're gonna continue breastfeeding the same way they have, even with, um, implementing some solids in between there. The next thing is probably what to give them and that's really up to you. There are so many options. Um, for me personally, we chose avocado as our baby's first food. Um, they try, people say not to do a fruit first because obviously they can start to really want something sweet. 
And I know I think avocado is technically a fruit, but it's not sweet. <laughs> so that's what I went with. I actually added a little bit of breast milk with the avocado and gave it to both my kids. That was their first food and neither one of them were big fans. <laughs> um, so once we introduced that food um, for about a week or so, um, just trying to get them to like it more, <laughs> Silas, um, they ended up so we ended up switching them to, I think like banana, something super easy that I could just mash really quick and just give them. And with time, uh, after a week or two of that, then we introduced different foods and I made my own baby food and I'll leave a link to the video on how easy it is to do that in the description below. I'm going to make an updated video of this because that video is when I was very, very, very new to YouTube and in the video quality, I know is not that great. So just forgive me for that please <laughs> but I will make an updated one soon um, right now I don't have my blender uh, long story long I will explain in future video what's going on with that but as of right now I just can't make that video at this moment <laughs> Introducing solids can be such a fun time because you get to see your baby go from this little tiny baby to a baby that is eating and you get to see their expressions when they try food. So I encourage you just have fun with it and introduce your breast milk into some of your recipes for your baby and that way they can get that extra nutrition as well with their baby food. Um, but yeah, don't stress it and just enjoy this next stage of your breastfeeding journey, introducing solids. And I hope you guys all have great success with your breastfeeding journey. And thank y'all so much for watching this video. If you benefited at all, please give it a big thumbs up. And also please comment down below if you have any other tips and tricks when it comes to introducing solids with breastfeeding. Thanks for watching and I'll catch y'all at my next video. This is the cash that I made, that's the baby. Here you go. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with every day. But, you know, Why do you, you know always I mean? want to mess with me? <laughs> Please. You're going to be in the video for Friday, okay? <laughs>